Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to Bullseye, creating our first iOS application. Now, the core concept of Bullseye is that you're supposed to move the slider to a random number. So our label is supposed to tell us what number we're supposed to move our slider to. We move the slider to that number, and then we check to see if we were right, okay? So let's go ahead and add the random functionality and then see if we were right. So over here in our view did love, um, we can go ahead and generate a random number and we're going to go ahead and say, so var random number is going to be an integer. Let's set it equal to zero for now. And then in our view did load, we're going to go ahead and say random number is going to be equal to int. Okay. So int and then arc for random underscore uniform and then 100 or actually 101. So what does this do? Arc for random underscore uniform 101 gets us a random number from zero to 100. Okay. It doesn't take in the value we specify, but it takes in all the values underneath that. So from zero to 100, it's going to be a float value. Just like we saw the slider values, this number could be 99.63. It could be 45.12. doesn't matter, but it's basically going to get us a random float. And then from there, we're just inting it to again, convert it to an integer, sort of like the round feature does over here. It's the exact same thing. So once we have a random number, let's go ahead and update our label by saying num label dot text should be equal to um, move the slider to, and then let's go ahead and put in a random number. Okay. So num label text move the slider to colon and then random number. So if we go ahead and run this right now, stop this and run it over here. Let's see what happens. Build succeeded and show our simulator. Okay. So first thing first, when we run it, the text does come, but it's getting cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and increase this size, increase this size. And then I'm going to go ahead and make our font just a bit smaller. So let's make this 35 or 35. Okay. Save this, run it. And let's see our app again. Give it a few seconds. And then we have over here, move the slider to 96. Fantastic. So now if we move our slider to 96, it's going to go ahead and whoops, update the view, which you don't want. So the next thing is to now go ahead and remove the slider value changed. So we don't need this right now. Okay. So once the slider has been moved to the correct value, we want to see if we were right. So we need to have a button our increase button change. And instead of doing increase, we needed to see to check if we were right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this function and then I'm going to go ahead and drag a drop another function. So let's go ahead and drag from our increase button action and see check value. Okay. So instead of calling this increase, I'm going to go ahead and say, um, check with a question mark. Okay. And then over here on the right hand side, if you select our button, we're going to go ahead and see this icon. This icon is called the connections inspector and it sees what connections we've made to our view controller. So right now, if you notice, it still says that we have an increased connection made. So if you run your code right now and you try building the application, Xcode is, Xcode is going to get an error because there is no connection increase in our controller. So let's go ahead and remove the increased connection and just keep the check value. Okay. So now we have our check value function over here and we're trying to check, Hey, does my slider value equal my random number? So using the if else statements, the conditional statements we learned in Swift, we can go ahead and say, if random number is equal to, and then remember how we got the value of our slider. All we have to do is say num slider slider dot value. And let's go ahead and int this. So int num slider dot value. So if random number is equal to int num slider dot value, then we need to do something. Okay. We need to either say print out you were right or print out you were wrong. So let's go ahead and add one more label. Okay. So let's add a label over here and this label, I'm going to go ahead and expand. So let's go ahead and make it the entire screen width. let's go back to the edge attributes inspector. Let's center it. Let's go ahead and remove any text for now. And then we're going to go ahead and make a label over here that says result label. Okay. So we're adding an IB outlet to our controller, which is the result label on our view. And over here, we're going to say that if check value, if the value is true, we're going to say result label dot text is equal to 
You were right on point. Bullseye. Bullseye. Fantastic. However, if you were off, okay, if you were not on point, if the values do not match, we're going to say result label dot text is equal to whoops, you missed. Try again later. Okay, so very, very simple, guys. All we're doing is now if the user hits the check button. We're going to go ahead and see that if our random number that we generated is equal to the slider value. And if both of those are equal, then our result label text will update to yay, you won or whoops, you lost. So let's go ahead and run this. And let's see what happens. Build succeeded. We have our simulator over here. Move the slider to 20, okay? So I obviously am probably not gonna get this, but let's try this out. So I think the 20 is over here. Hit check. Okay, whoops, you missed, try again later. Fantastic. So this is the most basic bullseye app that we could create. There's a lot missing, there's a lot we can add. So first of all, congrats, you created your very own bullseye application. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some more features and make this app a lot more interesting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.